Baume, Gucci, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, AP watches, Rolex watches equals being broke. I'm the wise man. Do you know why I'm able to work things out? A certain man might sit there and think like, bro, how's Jay able to work out these things and like, why are he so wise and that? Like, what books did he read? Man, he read no books. Like I've said before, made jokes before, but it's a real, real shit, real talk. I'm the author that's never read a book before. I've never read a book before in my life. Maybe 80 or 90 percent of, of mice and men when man was in school. Uh, but other than that, I've never read a book from start to finish and definitely not at my own leisure. And I don't like reading books. Uh, but I was also able to write a book though, wasn't it? So it's mad, imagine being like the author that's never read a book in his life, apart from his own that he, he wrote. But anyway, um, I'm a maths head. Man love mathematics. When man was in school, I was in top set for maths. You know, like you got people them using the bottom set because they don't know shit. You got people them using the top set. Man was in the top set for maths, but I got relegated to set two because of my bad behavior and even when i was in set one they put me in this class called statistics and basically i was like the dumbest in the class i was like the low, lowest ranking person in the class which was a good thing because the people them in my class in statistics this was a class that i used to go to after school starts at quarter past three finishes at quarter past four i was the lowest ranking person in that class but the people them who's in that class now have gone on to be dentists and that. Like literally one of the youths in man's class is a dentist and the others, one of the girls graduated law at Oxford and that. So you can see what types of calibre of youths man was amongst and so man was always good at maths, always been a maths head, always loved and enjoyed maths. And when I was at uni studying electronic engineering, obviously we have like the electronic engineering uh, modules to do but then we have pure maths modules to do on the side it's just pure maths you wouldn't even know using an electronic engineering uni uh, HNC course man was just studying pure maths and my my tutor at the time my lecturer said to me the reason why you're good at maths is all about recognizing patterns and trends and that's what man does I'm able to look at things and notice patterns and trends and correlations between a lot of different things in aspects of life and that so literally, me and my girl were sitting down there the other day, it was like two, three days ago. And we was talking about buying properties and I said, mortgage advisor, mortgage broker. And we was talking about buying properties and that. And obviously, we know lots of different people. And none of the people then that we know are actual mutual people or nothing like that. So she knows her people there in her life. I've got people in my life that I know. And we literally sat down and like, her brethren, she's got two brethren that's got properties. Probably got more in that box. Two of her brethren in that's got properties. One of them has got three properties, and the other one's just got her own property. So she's a homeowner. And the one that owns three properties, she drives a Renault. And the one that owns her own yard, she just drives a little polo. And I sat back and I said to myself, you know what? One of my brethren, he's got four properties, and he drives a little Mitsubishi, you know, like a petrol slash high you know one of them hybrid kind of things a four by four and then look at me i've got three properties in the uk one in the next country and i drive a little shitty honda and i said to her and i broke it down to her right then and there and i said there's a there, there's a pattern there's a trend there's a correlation between being a property owner and driving a shit car and wearing Balmain, Gucci, Balenciaga, and all of this stupid nonsense and that, and being broke and living in a fucking council house, blood. Literally, fam. The people them that are fascinated with Rolex watches and Balmain and Balenciaga, they all, most of them, 99.9% .9 of them, live in fucking council houses. And the people them that have properties and that, they're the ones that are not interested in driving a Mercedes, blood. Now most people I know, I go to tenants' yards and that Mercedes outside, Audi outside, council house. You know the people out here who I'm telling you, the people then that you see driving around in just the average shitty cars, they're the ones that own the properties and that. And the ones that are driving the latest car, brand new, 22, 23 plate, they're the ones that's living in the fucking council house, blood. It's not a coincidence. Do you know why? It's a mindset thing. If your mindset is, do you know what? 
I need to wear these clothes and I need to drive this car because I want to look the part. You will never buy a property, blood. You see, buying a property is a mindset thing. You know, it's got nothing to do with the money. It's a mindset of, do you know what? It's more important to buy my own property. It's more important to have multiple properties than that. Then wear these clothes, drive this car, wear this watch and that. It's a mindset. It's got nothing to do with the money. It's all a mindset. A lot of people are deluded that. I remember years ago, I was chatting to a man and he was in Wood Green these times. And he said to me, ah, because he's got a U. He said to me, ah, my U ain't driving in nothing less than a BMW. Yeah, but your fucking U is living on the sandlings in Wood Green, blood. The sandlings in Wood Green is quote unquote like, was maybe back in the day, like the Broadwater farmer Wood Green. Man are deluded. Man are talking about, yeah, my kid ain't living, my kid ain't driving around in nothing less than a BMW. But then your kid is living on a council estate with gangs about. Come on, man. Come on, man. But literally, wearing all these flashy clothes and that, uh, have feeling the need to wear the Rolex and AP watch and that, feeling the need to drive the brand new car and that is why you're living in a council house, blood. Ask yourself this question. You the viewer this question right now. The people them who's driving the nice flashy car and wearing the latest clothes and that, and that's a top priority for them. Are they living in council houses? Yes or no? And the people them who have all the properties and that, the people them who are property owners and that, do they drive flashy cars? Do they wear Balenciagas and Balmain and that? The answer is no. There may be one or two who cross over, yeah? But for the most part, that is what it is, blood. The people them that care about wearing the flashy clothes and wearing all the, you get me, all the latest garments and that, they're the ones that end up broke, living in a council house, fam. Some people will get fixed. Oh, oh, my man's talking about me. Or, oh, they take a fix to their blood. You the one who decided to wear these clothes and drive these cars, you know. Man, they didn't force you to do nothing. You was the one that said, you know what, yeah, I'm going to go and get myself an AP watch. I never made no one do nothing. I'm just bringing it to light. Obviously, there are going to be a small select people who, yeah, they do have properties and that, and they do wear a lot of Balmain, Balenciaga and Gucci and that. That's cool because they can afford it. But blood, you should not be dressed all the time. I'm not saying yeah, if you live in a council house, you should not have not one or two, you know, branded items of clothing. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is when you've got a wardrobe that's full of 20 grand and that, that's foolishness. There are people out here right now, they got a wardrobe, 20, 30 grand. They walk around with a 20 grand watch and that, but live in the council house. It don't make no sense, fam. Your, pri your priorities are in the wrong place, my brother. And they get them too. There's a lot of girls out here. And then they wonder why they're poor. You see, oh, just checking the amount of time that's left on this. The reason why a lot of these people can't afford to buy a property as well, because they're in so much credit card debt, because their mind is in the wrong place and because they decide, yeah, do you know what, I need to buy all these clothes, they ain't got enough money left at the end of the month. So, for example, it don't even matter what wage you're on as well, you know. If your finances are fucked and your money's not in order, you're not going to get anywhere. There's a lot of people right now, they'll be scraping to save 100 or £200 pound a month. So, when they think to themselves, I'm scraping to save £100, and, 100 pound, £200 pound per month and I will need a deposit of like 25, 30 grand. That is going to take me a lifestyle, so they just give up. They just give up. The reason why I was able to save up and buy this property here, forget about the rest of them. I was living at home with my mum, fair enough. I was earning 1800 a month, fair enough. I was only giving my mum about £200 per month, fair enough. But you know what? I was able to save about £1,000, 800 900 pounds a month. But you know what? I wasn't going on all these flashy holidays and that. I wasn't driving a flashy car. I was driving a local shitty 2004 Honda Civic. I didn't bother lease a new car. I didn't bother buy a pair of fucking Air Jordans for 400, 500 pound and that limited edition. I didn't bother do that. If you ever wonder like, why has Jay got this and like, how comes I ain't got that? You were not, are you, were you willing to, you know, make sacrifice for three, four years? Most people are not. 
So don't I ever question or, you know what I'm saying? it Like, if you're ever wondering and that, why you ain't got this, you ain't got that, do you believe, you, do you truly believe you're the type of person that will be willing to make sacrifices? And like, most people just live every day as it comes. YOLO. You only live once and all this nonsense and that. Bullshit, man. Save your ass clock money. Like, there's some people out here, me and my girl's even breaking it down the other day. We was looking at, you know, like the car leasing thing. And there's certain people out here spending £500 a month on a car leasing contract. So the contract is 48 months, so that's four years, and it's £500 a month. Blood, that's 24 grand you're going to pay over the next four years. If only you just saved that money. If only you saved that money, you could have bought a property, which in turn, one day is going to be giving you a good return. People are just dumb, just dumb, all for validation, all to fit in. I made videos about this, I'm not too sure if it's dropped yet, but the reason why some people buy a car, a nice flashy car and that, is one, to impress those around them, or, so obviously impress people around them, like obviously what the word impress is, or to suppress people around them, which means they want to be driving the best car out of everyone. There's certain individuals, they could be driving, I don't know, the latest Mercedes and that, and they will want their friend to drive a car less than them. So they will say to their friend, yeah, man, yeah, you should be, yeah, man, there's nothing wrong with a Ford Focus, you know, like I can see you in a BMW and that. Those are the people that try to suppress those around them. Yeah. So, yeah, some, the reason why people, a lot of people drive these nice flashy cars who can't really afford it or struggling to make payments and that is because there's a need to impress people you want to show off you want validation and that or there's a need to suppress those around them they want to drive the best car there's certain individuals right now they'll be driving a certain caliber of car if their friend drove up uh, started leasing and bought a new car that was better than theirs they would have a problem with it me i don't think like that because everybody by default is driving a better car than me so I, i've never cared about what car our next person's driving like just to get me from A to B and that. But that's it for today, man. Uh, yeah, there's just a, a, a correlation between the people them who have nice, have a lot of properties and just drive a mediocre car and the people them that drive the latest car, drip, drip, Balmain, Balenciaga, Gucci, LV and that, but they live in council houses. But that's it for today, man. Stay wise, done now.